Hi, welcome to my video. Here we got the internal SSD cage for the G9 server. If you run out of space on the 8 bay or 10 bay modules, you can add 4 SATA SSD with this cage key. So, what you do is you put the SSD first and then you just screw them on. Yep, that will do for now. It can take up to four drive. So basically, you just put two on the bottom, two on the tops. It come with this SAS to SATA breakers. Here's the part numbers. And there's one power cable. Here's the part numbers. To fit this SSD cage, you need to lift up this PCIe and you sacrifice if you have any adapters here, you can't use it. So you just put it here. Yep, they call it PCIe bracket. You need to align these two. After that, these cables you take out the the existing one. Um, you just plug this in, and you just plug another one there. After that, you just connect to the SATA port of your SSD there's another one here and for the on board one you can use here port one which is I think it's B140 if I didn't make any mistake then you can put the cables over there so drive 1 is there drive 2 is the bottom one you still have a room for another 2 but I don't need that much so I just put 2 for the beginning and if I need another two more I will add it later once you fit all the cable make sure it's not blocking your way then you can put back this PCIe riser you still can fit one NVMe adapters if you see here So the PCI cage sit here nicely. Screw it down when you're done. There's another screw in the hair. So you cannot have any more of the PCI device on this area. This is the cable, they split the cable from the motherboard Then this is how it looks like So you've got 8 bay Some of them come with 10 bay And 4 of the SATA bay If you want you can add the NVMe adapters To this lot 
and it will boot from the NVMe adapters or you can boot from the micro SD cards this one can be the catch drive for the NVMe adapters and hope this video help you demonstrate how to install this internet SSD cage and thank you for watching